Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. So Clone was the first card I ever did. Uh, ever. So it was apropos to do in, you know, for the 20th anniversary, the, the basically reinterpretation of Clone, especially after 20 years, um, in two ways. One was uh, to show where I have been artistically in the last 20 years, how my work has changed, but also to tell a little more about the story of the figure of Clone. I actually aged the, uh, the character um, so that it seems like there's a period of time and sort of ended the story of the clone. There really wasn't a story about the clone, but I wanted to sort of create a, a, a dialogue, like, like a, a story behind that character. Um, and uh, so I felt that that was the best card out of the, the, the first year of working on cards to work with. It's also uh, the card that most people remember in terms of like if, if I say, you know, and they ask me, which cards did you do? I'll usually clone, most people respond to uh, versus saying something like, oh, I don't know, I can't, <laughs> uh, you know, folk of Anne Hava, they're kind of like, what? Yeah, so um, I just felt that was a, a really good uh, choice out of all the cards uh, uh, to go with. Plus, it's fun to sort of do a double figure and how can you, how can you um, display a double figure? Uh, also, I, strangely enough, the, the background of, of the first clone card looks a lot like uh, the view off of Alki Beach in uh, Seattle, um, and which is where I shot, uh, did a photo shoot for the the new piece. Uh, they just ironically just happen to look the same. That spit of land there, which is Magnolia, um, sort of worked out perfect. And uh, I also chose the time of sunset to to do this new piece, sort of like it's the end period. Um, so. I've, I definitely, when, when we were talking about doing the gathering, that was the first thing I thought of was, oh, I'd love to redo clone, do my version of clone, but in oils and sort of the way that I work now and also adding a little more of a, a background to it. So in terms of how my style has changed between in the last 20 years between first magic card till now uh, well obviously back then I didn't know how to paint um, I was a printmaking student I, I hadn't really had a whole lot of background in painting uh, and over those early years I basically had to paint on demand so I've since then had a lot more time to really go back and fill a lot of those gaps in my training um, and focus on painting originally in gouache, first in gouache, and now in oils. Um, I did go back and train in the atelier method. Uh, while I did not go to atelier school, I trained with a local atelier instructor, Tania Sims, over at Georgetown Atelier, um, who's worked with me over the last few years in terms of bettering my, my technical skill set. Um, so nowadays I have a lot more confidence in my painting and in my drawing technique than I did when I was considerably younger. Although back then I had more of a humoristic, organic style, which I still think is important in work and that I still like to retain within my work. So while some of it's much more serious looking, I can still sort of bang out the funnier stuff. Um, so I, f I feel like both of those are important uh, and, and important to keep moving forward. And I don't feel like I'm done yet. I think that I still have a lot more to add to my body of work, which I am intending to do over the next few years is to continue moving forward with my work. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. Find everything in the world of Vintage Magic the Gathering at www.vintagemagic.com.